though, Bill. Yeah. All right. So, awesome. Yeah. Oh, you got one space left as well. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, yeah. How much does this uh, taxi cost? Five, 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 five k. Yeah. Cheers, bro. All right, Biad. I'll see you in Dubai, bro. Bro, take care, man. Yeah, you see too. Yeah, you know, very well. I'm going to Erbil. 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 All right. Bob Rowan. Yalla, see you, Yad. Erbil, Erbil. Erbil. Yalla, yalla, yalla. It's in this one. What about my bags? All right, I'm going this way. I'm following you. Ah, I follow you. Here, 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 here. <laughs> yeah, I need to. What about my bags? It's okay. All right, there's one. Careful, there's a lap. There's a laptop in there. All right. Is that my seat? No, behind. Behind. Ah, awesome at the back. The bumpiest ride. Ah. All right, everybody. Welcome back. To a new video. Salam alaikum. Oh, he was having the front seat. But uh, I'm in Slay Money. I asked my hotel, I'm like, oh, how much is it to get uh, to a bill in a taxi? And they said, a hundred dollars. I'm like, all right, well, first of all, I like the local experience. So I got dropped off at uh, the bus station. And luckily there's one spot left for me. And we're going to a bill. Babroin. 10,000 you said? All right. Is that the normal price? Like you're you're paying ten thousand as well? Yeah, that's normal. Huh? All right, we're not getting charged extra. That's what I like. How are you? Fine. You good? good. Where are you from? Australia. Oh. Are you from Erbil? No, no. I'm from Slimani. Slimani. Why are you going I'm to Erbil? Ah, what are you studying? Uh, microbiology. Microbiology. Alright everybody, halfway through the trip, let's do a cheeky uh, vehicle review. So we got the good old Toyota Hiace, uh, maybe the 2021 edition, oh he just locked it. But uh, seats 15 people throughout the front, good, Porsche, is it a Porsche? <laughs> but uh, how many minutes? Five minutes? Okay, five minutes I guess until we leave, but we might get a bite to eat. And then uh, we'll hop back in the good old uh, Toyota Hiace for the rest of the journey. But people here are getting snacks. Reminds me um, of the uh, Mashutka experience when we had in Kyrgyzstan. We used to uh, hop in there. What other bus trips have I had? Or maybe uh, the one, the midnight Pakistan uh, bus up to Hunza, where we stopped off on a variety of actual uh, places and uh, got some food. That was uh, one heck of a trip. This one, you know. I mean, it's, it's a little bit more suitable, but you'll notice I made the same mistake in uh, Kyrgyzstan when I was in the Mashutka. You don't ever sit at the back of a bus, guys. The rear axles are like horrible on these roads. If you're at the back, you're flying up and down. If you're in the middle, because it's like center of gravity, um, you kind of get a much more comfortable ride. But let's go and see what they have to, uh, to eat here. Oh, it's in English as well. That's good. All right, we got barbecue liver, barbecue chicken, barbecue meat, your kebab. Maybe uh, we'll just go cheeky barbecue chicken. Salam alaikum. Can I get one barbecue chicken? Barbecue chicken? Yeah? Yes, please. Just one okay. thing. Just one? Yes. Tell how many one? Yeah, yeah. one. <laughs> you say one. <laughs> <laughs> you, did, you didn't hear me? <laughs> I'll sit down. Uh, where will I sit? I'll come inside. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Hopefully my bus doesn't leave without me. I like to see <laughs> Yeah, it's a camera for you, YouTube. Uh, welcome. Aso. Asho? Aso, aso. Aso. Asshole. Is that what? Is that what he's trying to say? <laughs> oh, funny guys, funny guys. But so far, the trip back to Erbil. It's been a good one. Bumpy, as I said. I'm about 98% sure the guy next to me has uh, COVID. 
he's coughing and splattering everywhere and he's the only person uh, wearing a mask in there. He hasn't even got it on. But um, yeah, I'm excited for this chicken. I haven't eaten all day. It's about 2.30. I, I know, I know Zol Spas, Zol Horsh. Oh, we got our bus driver here. So at least you are the bus driver. At least, at least we know that the bus isn't gonna leave. Ah, thank you. Perfect. You want a bread? Yes, please. Thank you very much. All right, everybody. Look at this, guys. We got the fresh bread. We got the chicken, and you can see little bits of salt on there. Bit of tomatoes, bit of greens, some onions, which is uh, my favorite. So, ooh, that is uh, steaming hot. Steaming, steaming, steaming hot. All right. There we go. Boom. Chicken skewer over there. We got our bread. We got our chicken. And we've got some onions on here. Oh. Big bit of onion. Maybe we'll have to cut that off. I love onions, but not this much. Here we go. Alright. Let's see what it tastes like. Nice bit of chicken. As I said, salty because you can see the salt on there. The onions are doing the job. So, um, yeah, let's eat the rest of this meal. We just got given a um, what looks to be like a tomato soup, maybe with some vegetables. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of um, like soups and stuff, but. We have to give it a try. Is it hot? Mm. It's an interesting taste. Don't think I'll be having another uh, sip of it though. <laughs> but I'm glad I tried it. Yeah, in interesting uh, texture and taste. Thick and I think tomatoey. Interesting. One thing you'll notice in a lot of um, restaurants, at least in like Slay Money from what I've seen is they just uh, leave this like at your table and this is your bill. So when you're finished, uh, obviously that is like one, I'm guessing that's like chicken kebab or chicken skewer. And then you just give it to this guy. Salam alaikum. Johnny Bashi. All right. That's fine. Uh, Maybe that's 500. Uh, thank you. And I learn Arabic? La la la. English. English? Uh, shway shway Arabic. <laughs> oh. Alright, luckily our. Oh, I was just about to say, lucky our boss is still here. But he was just giving the honk, the final honk. To a bill, Bob Bruin. Alright guys, we had a, um, a short checkpoint, everyone had to give their licenses and everything and my bag's all the way up the front so I just gave him my Australian uh, driver's license which actually just doesn't look like me at all and then they pulled me out and I had to get my parcel and everything after all that they were like alright, yalla, good to go so we're now in Ur Urbil now? Yeah. Okay, so that's to enter like the Urbil region so uh, security is on point here. Barbaroon. It's all sparse. <laughs> all right. By taxi or by Well, I think uh, maybe I'll just get a Kareem. Kareem? Oh, perfect. So they can take me right there. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm just going. Uh, it's new. Uh, you about five minutes. Oh, nice. Just a walk? Yeah, just by walk. Awesome. What's your name? Ahmed. Ahmed. What about nice you? To meet you? Luke. Luke? Okay, nice to meet you. Alright guys, we're back in Erbil and a uh, pretty fun ride on the good old bus. I still haven't booked a place. 
Uh, I've got two options in mind. I've got a cheap option and an expensive one. One's like 30 bucks a night, one's like 80 bucks a night. And uh, I've been thinking about this for like over a minute. So I was like, whenever any decision takes over a minute, I just go to Siri and just ask heads or tails and then make her choose the uh, decision. So we'll say heads is uh, the cheap option, tails is the expensive one. So, hey Siri, heads or tails? It's heads. It's heads. All right, guys. Looks like we're uh, booking the cheap option. It's uh, called, it's called Chapol Hotel. 37 Australian dollars a night, so let's book that. So I'm gonna go. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, you keep. Tip. Yeah, yeah. It's all a Here we are. The Chapel Hotel. Let's see what it's like. Hello. How are you? I have a, a booking for Luke. Perfect, thank you. Uh, one, zero, three. one, zero, three. It's on uh, it level one. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Two zero two 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 zero two two two. Thank you, sir. What is your name? Your name? Hey. Name? Mustafa Sleima. Mustafa. Mustafa Sleima. Sleima. Nice to meet you. The lobby looks so good. Nice. Yeah, that's perfect. Come on. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. It's all the spas. All right, guys. Twenty-seven USD per night. We even. Oh, how dope's that? We actually got a balcony, eh? Hey? That's sick. This is um. Uh, basically, this is no, a little bit, tiny bit more expensive than the very first hotel that we stayed in, but much more spacious. That bed looks pretty damn good. We got a little balcony overlooking the road. Hopefully, it's not too noisy at night. That's my only concern with this uh, with this room. But that will uh, time will tell with that one inside of the bathroom. Oh wow! Look at that spacious. As can be. I'm a little tall for the uh, the door, but how good's that? It does smell a little bleachy in here. You wouldn't really want to spend too much time without inhaling all those fumes. But we got a nice shower. We got a toilet. And is that a bum gun? Is that a cheeky bum gun that I see? It looks like a unique bum gun. I've never seen a bum gun like this. What do you do? Just do it this way. Oh, look at that. How's that for a bum gun? Never seen one of them. Where's me towel though? It's on the bed. We even got a TV. Let's go out on the balcony quickly. And uh, see what this is all about. No chairs out here, but we got a balcony to chill out on. This is like peak traffic right now. It was so much traffic. Uh, in that Kareem that we got, but how beautiful is the skyline here in Erbil? Got some nice palm trees out the middle. We got people working. <laughs> and yeah, this is sick. This is actually, this is actually giving me good. The real test is though, how is the bed? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bed test here at, what's the place called? Shark. Shaftman or something? I'll put it up on the screen, whatever it is. Bed test, ah, whatever the text is on the screen. Oh man, that's a good bed. Man, that's a good bed. That's what we like. How are the pillows? 
We're not even doing just bed tests anymore. We're doing pillow tests as well. Obviously, you don't want those crappy pillows. They're never as good, but... Oh, that's soft as. What about this one? That's a little harder. I'm definitely going to be using that one. But man, yeah. I think I'm going to have a good sleep here. This is bloody brilliant. How good. You can see uh, a little bit of carpeting issues. What have they done? Have they literally just put like a rug? Look at that, it's a rug. Just on the concrete. <laughs> Look at that, I could pull the whole thing up. You can even see like the seams. Usually the seams aren't there and they're just like so close to the edge that you can't even see it, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> the yeah, the carpeting is a little bit questionable. So is the, uh, these lights here. I'm pretty sure that's a safety hazard there with the gr green tape. But uh, apart from that, there seems to be a fair few loose wires, which I don't know about you guys, but buddy, I hate electric shocks. And I hate getting electrocuted. Just checking the closets here, just to see if there's uh, anything. We got some nice, well, I was gonna say nice sliding doors, cause that one slides nicely. I don't know about this one though. Or is that an actual door? Hey, uh, <sighs> Doesn't really slide too well. There's nothing in there, so maybe that's why it's stuck there. But this one. Wow. That was loud. What I was gonna say is this one slides really nicely. <laughs> we got a couple coat hangers there. But yeah, let's uh, finish up the video here, everybody. Had a uh, fun day getting back from Slay Money back into Erbil. So we're gonna be filming a few videos here. We gotta do a market hunt. So I think that's gonna be done tomorrow. And uh, we'll go on the greatest market hunt you've ever seen in. Uh, in YouTube history, really. And yeah, we're gonna enjoy the sunset. So yeah, thank you all for watching the video. As always, chase your dreams. And we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.